Oh, great question. Um, I'm gonna try to remember. <laughs> My freshman year. That was 2002. Damn. Yeah. That was two. Or like not even like just yeah. Year, I know. <clears throat> the of your, like, mindset. Sure. Sure. Yeah. I. I think. Uh, I think it's the same thing. Probably today. One of the, actually the, the story that I was um, telling you. So my first intro to radio class was with uh, Bert Berdine. And, uh, Bert. Uncle Uncle Bert still around. Uh, and the first day he sat down. He sat us down. And we had a class. I think of like thirty. I think almost thirty kids that for that freshman year. And he said, if you want to do this, you have to want to be the best at it. And you have to work at it, and you have to earn and learn and be a, a student of your craft. He goes, otherwise, it's going to eat you up. It's going to be frustrating. Probably won't make a lot of money for a while. And if you don't love it and you don't want to be the best at it, don't, don't waste your money. I mean, he was pretty, pretty brutal and honest. And from that day on, uh, you know, that, that's the thing that stuck with me the whole time is, okay, how can I be the best at this? And whether it doesn't, and being the best, to clarify, doesn't mean being better than anybody else. It means being the best that you can possibly be at it, whichever direction it is you take. And, uh, and I think that's been my main focus. So that, networking, and just learning, um, getting hands-on experience. I mean, there's some, kick-ass resources in this school with, as far as the radio stations or the TV studios or the opportunities to be hands-on, that is it. That is 100% it because when you're hands-on and you have an opportunity to create content with some of the best equipment there is out there for free, well, for your tuition, <laughs> almost, almost kind of free, uh, use it. Use every second of it. Use every piece of equipment here. Figure out how to do it. Learn, like. I paid four hundred dollars the other day to teach myself how to use. Uh, two weeks ago, I use Final Cut Pro. Was I able to do it? Yeah. Do they get, offer it to here for a discount at school or whatever it is? If they do, take advantage of that because <laughs> it's a big deal. Um, you know, if it's if it's having your own radio show because you want to be on the air, there's nothing that is a substitute for being on the microphone. You know, you can like let's if you love soccer, you're not going to get good at it by watching a bunch of YouTube videos on how to be good at soccer you're gonna fall probably a lot or get hit with the ball or something in the face, you know? So you use, use those resources. Um, I think that's the best advice from, the bot from freshman year. Figure out what you can do to be hands-on and work with industry professionals, internships, get, those, get in the building. Whatever you can do, get in the building. Because once you get out of college, it gets a lot harder to get in the building. Internships are easy because they don't have to pay you. They don't want to until you prove that you're worth paying. So get in the door and, and, um, and just use your resources 100% while you are in school. I mean, you're freaking paying for it. Use it. Use all of it. Uh, I said, yes, we are paying. <laughs> I'm still paying for it, actually. Oh, when I, I was doing the night show here at KISS, I, uh, I, I had maybe six people a night on the show doing different things. And do, that doesn't just mean radio interns, like video blogging, web design, game, like whatever it is you do, this world is all encompassing. So the re I, yes, I'm a radio guy, but yes, I do Final Cut video. I can, I can edit any piece of audio. I learn every social media platform there is, you know, learn how to build my own website. You know, I do like Wix, so it's like really super easy. Don't roll your eyes at me, man. It's all good. <laughs> but whatever it is, like there's a, there's, um, a need for everybody and sometimes those people might not even see the need um, no one's gonna think you can do anything until you show them right so you you meet somebody you say hey you you got a website yo let me whip something up for you well yeah well yeah sure you are you gonna probably have to do it for free yeah probably uh, but now guess what you have a, that portfolio to to use you know I, I a lot of times I hate the I hate the, the role of like, hey, do it for exposure, do it for your portfolio, because it sucks, because if you feel like you're good at it, you want to get paid for it, and you should, um, but sometimes that stuff comes, comes in time. And so be patient with that. Don't undervalue yourself, but also There's under- shit ton of people who are willing to do stuff for free. Yeah, you know, and, and sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes that's a big problem, because it does take, you know, maybe some pay jobs away from people, but um, you gotta hustle, you gotta, you gotta get yours, you gotta, if you gotta do it for free, um, a couple times, you know, if they let, if you do it well enough, they'll pay you for it eventually. Um, and they're not going to want the people that do it for free. And if they do, they're always going to want it for free. There's no, that's not on you.